welcome back to another fly tying video. Today I will be tying a fly known as the golden head streamer. This is a very cool pattern because instead of the two shoulders you traditionally see on a feather wing streamer, just one golden pheasant tippet is laid over the top of a fly and it drapes down over both sides. It is a great little trout fly, so let's get started. So the hook I've got in the vise is a size 6, 3 extra heavy, 7 extra long, limerick style streamer hook. I'm going to start some black thread at the head and work my way down towards the point of the hook. And this is 280 UTC thread. This is a pretty thick thread that will help me build this fly up real quick. All right, so I'm going to come in with some gold mylar tinsel here. This is a large tinsel. Uh, you can use any size that you want. I just think that this small fly looks cool with some large tinsel. So I'm just going to tie this in from the rear and work my way forward. So I'm just wrapping this forward in even touching turns towards the hook eye. And once I get up here, I'm going to grab some black floss. This is a four strand black floss. I'm just going to tie this in. A little bit of overhang that I'll snip off after. Just helps the tie in if you leave a little bit of extra. I'm just going to bind this down, take the thread all the way back. Just peel this tinsel out of my way so I can finish. And I'll stop here again at the point of the hook. And now what I'm going to do is get a hold of the black floss here. Just try to get the tinsel out of my way while I wrap this forward. Just try to get even touching turns here. And oftentimes I will skip the step of adding black floss and just use my 280 UTC thread to build up an even body and wrap my um, tinsel over that. So up here at the hook eye, just take a few turns at, over the floss and then come in with my scissors and I'll snip this off. So now I'm going to tilt this down a little bit just to get an easier angle to wrap my tag in. So about three turns of this large tinsel back and then three turns back over it. And then I'll start making open spiral wraps towards the head of the fly using my finger to roll the material when necessary and bind this down with a few turns in front and behind of the material even this hook out here and now I'm going to just throw a few half hitches in here snip off this uh, tag end of tinsel And I'll come in with some scissors and snip this off because I'm going to start some 70 denier black thread. This thread is much smaller. Uh, it's just going to help me build up a nice even head without adding too much bulk. So I'll take a few turns and just kind of level this out so I have something even to tie into. And I'll grab the next material, which is going to be some bucktail, natural white off of a natural bucktail. I'll pull out all of the short fibers here and all the long ones and just try to separate this into a sparse clump. A couple short ones here. Get those out of there and just set this under the hook shank. Take a few turns, a few loose turns here sure it's riding underneath the hook eye. And I generally like to start at the rear of the head and work my way down towards the hook eye 
everything seems to be bound down pretty decent here. So, so I'm going to come in with my scissors and snip this off and take a few turns over the top here just to secure the hair. Now I'm going to grab some brown uh, rooster saddle hackle. Um, if you guys have dry fly capes, I know a lot of people have these basic dry fly capes and there's some streamer saddle hackle that's suitable on these as well. So you guys have been asking me, uh, can you just tie in one feather on each side? Well, of course you can. Um, I don't think that it ties in as easily. Uh, usually when I just use one feather, it kind of tends to spin around on me a lot more than when I use two on each. I think it swims a little better with four overall feathers as well. I'm just going to set this feather on the side here, take a few loose turns down towards the hook eye and bring my thread back to the rear of the head here. Now I'll come in with my second feather for the opposite side. Take a few loose turns, same thing, down towards the hook eye. And it slipped a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it back up. You want to keep control, keep all the stem on the side. And I'll take a look here. Looks like things are lining up pretty good, pretty straight. So I'll take these stems, fold them backwards. Take a few turns over the center here. Just enough to, to secure it while I come in with my scissors and snip these two stems off. And now for the topping here, instead of tying on a shoulder on each side of the feather, this is the cool part of this pattern. So I'm going to take this uh, golden pheasant tippet and run it through my fingers like this. And you can see how that thins it out. You want both sides to be even, though. You don't want one side puffing out more than the other. So once you get it about right, it should be probably half the size as you started with. It's very dense now. And I'll just take this and pinch it from the rear and fold it right over the both sides here, right over the top. and take some loose wraps, touching wraps here and it does get pretty dense as you start tying this down so just do your best and then bring the thread back and that looks like it's sitting good over both sides so I'll come in with my scissors here and I'll snip this off And that looks like it's hanging over the hook eye just a little bit too much for my liking. So I'm going to grab my finished scissors and just take a couple snips off of this. That way I don't crowd the hook eye. And I'll bind all that stuff down. Try to cover up all that material that's showing there with the black thread. And work my way back up. I'll grab my whip finish tool. Throw a couple whip finishes in. There's one. And another. Always try to make your whip finishes towards the rear of the head so you don't build up an uneven bulk in the front. And just come in and snip off that thread and add your head cement of choice. Here I'm using Sally Hansen's. And boom, there you have it, guys, the finished golden head streamer. Uh, this fly was originally designed by Bob Upham. Uh, Bob was a pretty famous tire in the Grand Lakes region. Like I said before, this is a killer brook trout pattern. 
uh, for small streams in particular. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something or were inspired. As always, please like the video, comment if you have questions, and subscribe to support the channel. And also, if you'd like to support the channel, you could consider donating to my Patreon and becoming a member there. All Patreon members get early access to all my content before it's put out on the World Wide Web for everybody to see, as well as exclusive content that's only available to my patrons. The funds go into upgrading the channel so that I can make better content for you guys. However, I did make my first withdrawal from my Patreon, and I discussed with the contributing members, and that money was actually donated to two local families that were in need at the time. I couldn't have made this happen without you, uh, so thank you so much. All right, guys, catch you later. Take care now, and I will see you on the